So the search for the Washington Commanders' next offensive coordinator continues today as the Washington Commanders are set to interview their quarterbacks coach, Ken Zampezi. Uh, the Washington Commanders had interviewed earlier in this week uh, Pat Shermer, who was the one of the former head coaches of the New York Giants, and they had reached out earlier to the likes of the offensive, or I should say the quarterbacks coach uh, for the Detroit Lions, who turned down the interview, uh, Daryl Bevel of the uh, Lions, the quarterbacks coach there, turned down the, the uh, interview as well. Uh, those two interviews would have been very interesting for the Washington Commanders. Uh, another name that a lot of fans were intrigued about as soon as we heard about his firing was uh, Byron Leftwich. Uh, Byron, of course, was fired um, the day after the total dismantlement. I found this on the web. Oh, yeah. Siri found it on the web as well. Um, <laughs> the total dismemberment from the Dallas Cowboys on uh, that Monday night playoff game. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense was just horrible. And that led, well, that probably was the final straw, certainly, but reports were that the Bucks were trying to fire Leftwich after their bye week. They decided to keep him on for the rest of the season. Things didn't improve with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense that much. Tom Brady just looked like a shell of the quarterback that he has been. After all of that, Left Woods is out, and then Commanders fans are clamoring over Left Woods. I'm not sure if Left Woods will interview with the Commanders. Could be likely. Who knows? Um, <clears throat> so certainly the Commanders are, once again, kind of what Ron Rivera had said about going out and getting a quarterback last year. He is throwing out a large net and seeing who he can get. And he's he's obviously he's, he's uh, reaching out to some uh, who have never been offensive coordinators. And unfortunately, some of those guys are actually turning it down. And then others who have been proven offensive coordinators. And then, of course, inside hires. Now, it was said earlier that the next offensive coordinator would likely not come from an inside hire. So um, so for Coach Ken, this may just be, you know, ju just to let him interview just, just for the sake of interviewing. I don't know. But it really, it, it remains to be seen as far as if you're an offensive coordinator or if you're, if you're a quarterback's coach, and you feel like you're ready to take that next step to become an offensive coordinator, is Washington the best place for you? Knowing that the situation with ownership is, is so up in the air right now. Uh, you know, you don't know who the next owner is going to be. You don't know when that's going to take place. You hear it's going to be very soon. And if it's very likely, then a lot of times what happens is that that coach is kind of a lame duck coach, Right especially during this time right now, because obviously you're not going to be able to get rid of your coaching staff, um, you know, because you're not going to have, unless that the deal was made today and all of the other owners were able to vote on it today, then maybe you would have a chance to clean house and start over. But that's probably not going to be finalized until March. And, because of that, you're going to wait until the new league year before new owners are going, or the other owners are going to vote for the new owner if it gets done at that point. Now, of course, we're also hearing about other information that, you know, Snyder's like, yes, I am selling a, a controlling stake in the team, but he didn't say 100% of the team. And I think that is starting to turn some of the bidders off. They don't want to partner with. Dan Snyder, even if they would have a controlling stake in the team and Snyder would just sit back and earn money. That being said, <clears throat> as an offensive coordinator, do you want to go into this 
knowing that there's a great possibility that you're going to be one and done unless that you prove yourself so much and your offense is so great that one of two things happen. Number one, the team gets into the playoffs, makes a strong run for the playoffs. The new owner is satisfied. He keeps Ron Rivera around for a few more years. Obviously, your job is safe. Or number two, you, again, you you do really well with the job, but the team struggles in other areas. You know, the team gets close. They're, they're basically a carbon copy of what the season was the year before. They barely missed the playoffs. So the owner gets rid of everybody, but he liked you as an offensive coordinator. So he says, you know what? Why not give you a chance to be the head coach? You were one of the bright spots. Maybe that happens. Maybe that's another reason why that you could leapfrog into a head coaching stint very quickly, especially if you if you turn out like a number one offense in the league or something like that. Obviously, you know you're going to have problems if you have number one offensive in the league and yet you still miss the playoffs. So it's a very shaky situation, and it's probably one that's not going to be extremely attractive for a lot of candidates right now, to be honest. And it's going to be difficult. And probably what we're going to have to, to face right now is the real possibility that you're going to have to just grab somebody who, number one, has worked with Ron Rivera before, who understands what Ron Rivera is wanting out of the offense and is willing to comply and realizes that this could be a one-and-done thing and they're okay with maybe a one-shot deal, a one-year deal, because they could be somewhere else the following year. And that's a very real possibility. That's really going to limit a lot of your choices. And maybe is one of these candidates. Maybe we do wind up interviewing Byron Leftwich. And I know a lot of people are mixed. Some people are very high on him and some people are very low on him. You know, I think it's worth an interview. If he wants to come in and interview for the job, I think it's worth an interview. Uh, bring him in, see, see what he says. Obviously, for a lot of us, we feel like if ownership change is likely, then it's very likely this is going to be one and done for the whole co- coaching staff anyway. But who knows? Who knows? Riverboat may turn things around, and it may be hunky-dory. We may have the number one offense. We may have the number one defense. We may be tops in special teams. We may be where the Philadelphia Eagles is this year in 2023. Who knows? But we got we got to get an offensive coordinator. That is that is the utmost importance, folks. Let me know in the comments what you think. Who do you think we should get as offensive coordinator? I hope that we figure this out very soon. I have a feeling it's probably not going to be a very sexy hire. I'm just going to let you know that right now. You're probably not going to be extremely happy and excited over the hire. Uh, So, but let me know either way, who have you seen? Maybe it's some names out there that we haven't even thought of that should be given the opportunity. Folks, like this video, please. It costs you nothing like this video. It helps the algorithm. It helps me out a lot. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And please share this out to other friends of, you know, family of, of Washington Commanders fans, football fans in general. Please get this out. Like I said, it helps the algorithm out. When it helps the algorithm, it helps my channel to grow. And with that said as well, if you haven't already, please consider supporting this channel by subscribing to this channel. When you do, make sure you hit that notification bell because I don't always release these videos at the same time every single day. So you want to make sure that you're ready, that you see that notification of another Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel video popping up on your screen. Folks, take care. We will see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. 
watch another one right now.